In December, the U.S. Embassy in Belize issued a bulletin seeking information on the whereabouts of U.S. National Raymond Samuel McLeod Jr., who is wanted in connection with the murder of Crystal Mitchell in San Diego on June 10, 2016. McLeod is also known as RJ. He is believed to be moving between southern Belize, Honduras, and Guatemala. And according to Crystal's mother and caretaker of her two children, Josephine Funes Wenzel, he doesn't seem to be trying to hide. That was the last report. And then in December of last year, after I didn't hear anything else, I decided to go on Facebook. And I put it, you know, I appealed to the people of Belize to please help me find, find him there because nobody was really looking. And so uh, I received a lot of contacts from the people of Belize. And um, there were a lot of sightings of him running all over the place. And it was actual, uh, one of them, the U.S. Marshals actually confirmed the sighting, seen all over Belize. And then um, the last report I got was he was somewhere, I think it was in January, um, he was somewhere in Punta Gorda. And then he was also sighted in the neighboring countries. He was sighted in uh, Livingston, Guatemala. There was a sighting of him in Honduras. But I believe he's staying in that coastal area there, so he could be in the police. I don't, I don't know what, what the situation is there, but apparently people can travel there by boat. San Diego police, according to U.S. television show Crime Watch Daily with Chris Hansen, have held back on some details of what may have happened to Crystal to advance their investigation. But they have confirmed that RJ is the prime suspect and that there were signs of a struggle in the room where Crystal's body was found. Wenzel herself tells us that she has found out much more about her daughter's possible killer. He's a charming man from what I understand. He's, he's uh, been with a lot of women, different women. Um, my daughter, all she saw in him was that he was charming and he had a, he loved his son, supposedly. He has a same age. His son is the same age as her son. And so, you know, she was just checking out the relationship. Um, I mean, I doubt that it would have gone further. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think she was killed because she was trying to get away from him. I had gotten contacted um, by several women who said that he's very dangerous in the way that he he targets women and he loves to strangle them. And um, he's a very dangerous man to women. He's very charming. So if he approaches you, he would approach you with charm, but he's very dangerous. He's known to use steroids. He's known to use cocaine. Um, and he is known to drink a lot. McLeod skipped bail on a different case involving his ex-wife a few months after Crystal's murder. And while she continues to grieve her daughter's passing and take care of her two children with husband Michael, Wenzel also continues to pursue justice. She made an urgent plea for those who have crossed paths with McLeod to turn him in before he can hurt anyone else. Catching him is not going to bring my daughter back, but I want to help spare any family out there the tragedy that my family has gone through. Because now I have to take care of two small children who don't have a mother anymore. My grandchildren are victims of, of a very hideous crime. And so I just caution women out there, um, watch out for him, do not trust him, do not believe anything he says. If you see him, please, you know, get a hold of the Belize police, get a hold of the embassy. Aaron Humes reporting for News 5.